YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got a new phone I'm actually uh, doing my uh, recording on today, so tell me if you can see the difference. I had another uh, upgrade forced upon me by my husband. <laughs> but he got to me by saying, well, it's only $5 to upgrade, and your uh, pictures for YouTube and stuff will be much better. So, yeah, yeah, sucker, sucker, I'm sold. So this is my Thursday auction haul. As you could tell, I was number 46. That's my age too. Cat's out of the bag. And when I got it, I'm like, ooh. Didn't buy a huge amount of stuff, but the stuff I did get was pretty interesting, as usual. You know how it is. Always something interesting to find at the auction. Um, first thing I wanna show you is this really adorable little light up owl. <laughs> Scary! But that is definitely like a vintage 1970-ish. In fact, it's funny because when I was checking out, <laughs> I had a guy say, Oh, are you going to keep that out or are you thinking about selling it? And I said, Oh. He said, No, I'm going to keep it. So... He was trying to buy it off me while I was standing in line to pay. <laughs> but that was adorable. Owls are back in, so I couldn't say no. Um, don't ask me why I bought a vintage gun holster, but I did. It was very interesting. I figured that'd be interesting for a man cave. You could hang it on the wall or actually use it, I guess. Um, this is a... A ceramic pine cone that has the long matches in it uh, would be great for a fireplace. Uh, it does have crate and barrel on the bottom. So I'm probably going to sell this on eBay. I will take it with pictures uh, with the matches, but of course will not send them through the mail. Um, but that I figure that's something people use and it looks nice and it's crate and barrel. So I'll do a little research on that and see how that goes. Um, a poodle. Yeah, it's a poodle. I usually do really good with animal figurines. This is kind of a vintagey, you know, the uh, poodle-ish one. So we'll see how it does. I know people who have bought and sold poodles before, so we'll see. You know, it's one of those things. Take a chance. This is really interesting. This is something I would actually kind of keep. <laughs> but no, because if I had it, I would have to dust it. And I don't like to dust, but it's got shells and pieces of driftwood and, and at the bottom, I guess, is where you actually load it up. So that's cute. So I'll probably just sell it as it is. Uh, got a nice big oval mirror. Um, it is plasticky. It is older, but it's, <clears throat> like I said, plastic, but it's light. Um, so mirrors usually do pretty good at my booth. People always have an empty spot in their house they want to hang a mirror. So I could probably find a few places here in my house I'd want to put it up. What is it with me wanting to keep stuff this week? Stop. <laughs> I'd rather have the cash in my hand than it hanging on my wall. Let's just stick with that. Um, what I do have that's already been absconded by my child is I had a table mate. Remember those fold-out tables? Um, where you can adjust the height and you can like pull it up to where you're sitting at a chair on the couch. My daughter's already walked off with that. Yeah. So I already have a larger one and I thought, you know, that's one you can fold up and then you fold the legs in so you can put it in a closet or whatever. Now this, uh, sewing bin I got, I'm probably, I kind of thought about recovering it and I think I'm just going to sell it as it is. You could tell by the age. It's this, this plasticky stuff, and I remember as a kid, uh, a relative, I'm sure, somewhere along the way had one of these, uh, that kind of chair in their kitchen. Yeah. So, if this is one of those things where you do, you go through the preview, and you're looking at stuff, and you open it up, and you're like, what the heck? So, what I did is I already went ahead and went through it, but I will go through it with you and show you what was in here. This is in very good condition. I was very pleased with that. But I opened it up. 
and it's full of glasses. And I'm like, wow, okay. So, funny enough, I went through them. Um, there was 48 glasses in here. Um, a lot of vintage sunglasses, which is way cool. And I can sell those um, in the summer. But uh, there was other stuff in here, too. There's three readers. I really like this one. <laughs> and since I am 46 and going blind, I will use those myself. This is a little leather purse. It's got two little sections. Probably just price that and put it out in my booth. Um, these... Uh, a whole bunch of vintage uh, eyeglass cases. Um, a couple of them I might go ahead and resell. Uh, there was some in here that were, you know how they got like that rubbery on the inside? Like the ones you get when you buy your glasses? And the rubber was like old and disintegrating and went everywhere? Yeah, it was kind of a mess. So this is the cleaned up version of what I came across. But I am going to go through these as quick as possible. Um, these, I'm actually going to donate because most of these are prescriptions. Believe it or not, that's a prescription sunglasses. But these are prescription glasses. So I'm going to find a place to donate those. When you come across something in a lot in a that you don't need and it's something you think someone else can use don't just toss it i know as resellers we're like ah, oh, that's junk but remember other people could use this stuff too and i believe all of these are prescriptions as well isn't that crazy so what i'm going to do is you know i think the lions club they have a bin at like walmart but i will do a little research and go ahead and donate those appropriately because I'm going to make tons of money off of this. I mean, I paid probably 5 or $7 for this with everything in it. I'm going to make my money. Why not give back? Seriously. So I'm going to go through these as quick as humanly possible. And just show you. I bagged them up so they wouldn't get scratched. But some of these are so awesome. Look at that. Um, there was a vendor. Look at that. And the side, they come way down. Isn't that cool? There was a vendor that recently had a whole bunch of uh, vintage sunglasses and uh, was selling them really well. So even if I put, you know, five or six bucks on, on these each, they will sell really good. But I'll wait till summer. It's more of a seasonal item. Look at the size of those. You know, my husband was like, oh, those are so big. And I said, you know... When you have, those are like blue or green. When you have sunglasses, you want them to be big because you want them to cover your entire seeing area, you know? There's only a couple like 80s-ish pairs in here. Like Pointer Sisters. <laughs> Back in the day. And wow, look at those. But these... These I probably was going to donate as well. Uh, these are a couple of readers, and then this one isn't really that old. It's kind of a cheapy one. But I'm probably going to donate those too. And the readers were like 2.5, which is like, I'm not quite that blind yet. Look at those with the gold. Those are awesome, man. Totally awesome. And this is a reader as well. So, and look at that. When I see these, sometimes I think of the ones that were a little bit shorter that people used to carry their cigarettes in. Remember those? But no. And in fact, I think this one still had a, a plastic wrap on it. But, I mean, this is, once I cleaned it up, it's in excellent condition. I'm um, going to sell it just like it is. Uh, we'll put a lot of the sunglasses away until summer. But I couldn't hardly beat that. So it's one of those when you see bins and boxes at the auction, look through them because, you know, you just never know what you're going to get. So, yeah. Okay, well, let's sit down and go through the numbers. 
So let's see. Um, I also bought two green folding uh, racks and I'm using those for display. I'll probably show you that later. But I paid a little more than I wanted to on those. I paid $10 each. That was probably the most expensive thing I bought, but I bought them for a reason. I'll have to show you, like I said, later. Um, the revolver holster was five. The gold frame mirror was five. And then you have choice of table four times. That would be this, the poodle, the owl lamp, and that decorative thing. And uh, this bin, because it was under a table. So I believe that was five or six four three and five so not too bad um so if you take away the two racks that i actually got i end up spending what 46 dollars yeah so not too bad definitely we'll make that up with the glasses and other paraphernalia um <clears throat> so that was my uh auction for this week, number 46. So if you get a chance, please subscribe to me or follow me on Twitter. I got to get all the terms right. I'm telling you, hey, I didn't touch a computer in high school, you know, until like my senior year. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the generation between. So I'm trying to get all my terms right. So follow me on Twitter at the pudgy picker. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below if you see anything of interest or you want to make a comment or suggestion on how I should price anything. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, happy picking. Bye.